Hey guys, it's Carthorn. In this video, I'll be going over how I use TCG Automate to supercharge my eBay sales. This is an amazing tool I've been using for about a month now. It's become an integral part of my trading card business. This tool really helps me sell cards as a full-time job, and I'm excited to show you guys how it works. All right, so this is the Rico FI8170 scanner. This is the scanner I would recommend. I think it's the best scanner for trading cards, or at least one of the best, if you get it set up properly. Before every scan, I start by opening it up, and then I have two cloths I use. You have to make sure it's clean because the dust will ruin your scans. So I would start by just wiping down every component on the inside with a microfiber. And then for the glass, I would just use a lens cleaning cloth and just wipe it to one side to make sure there's no dust specks left on the glass. Because if you have any dust inside, it's gonna cause streaks in your scan. And some buyers might think the streaks are scratches when they're not. I have gotten questions about that in the past. So it's best to just have very crisp scans. And then once it's clean, you can just put the cards in. I do them face down, top to bottom. I found this is the best way to get them to scan. And then make sure this is tight, but not crushing the cards. So they're not gonna be moving around. And then you just go to your PC and click scan. So this is how it looks once it starts scanning. You can get it to go a little bit faster, but some of my settings slow it down a bit, which is fine because you're going to get better scans that way anyway. So yeah, really convenient, really easy, a million times faster than taking photos with your phone camera. And then on the PC, this is how it looks. With my scan settings, most of the cards will crop perfectly. If you use a black background in the scans, sometimes the scans will get cut off and part of the card will be missing. It's also good to have a little bit of a border around the card so that the buyer can see the edge fully. And you notice some of the cards do end up in a slightly off orientation, like they'll get flipped 90 degrees. You can just, before you upload all the scans, you can just go and change that easily so it's not a big problem. But yeah, this scanner outputs beautiful scans. Just look at that. Very nice. Very clean and crisp and high DPI so they can really zoom in and see the fine details on a card which technically could work against you if your card is really damaged but I think most buyers will appreciate that they can see everything on the card. All right after you have all the card scans you go over to tcgautomate.com get a subscription there and then go to your settings Click the link here to go to your eBay business policies and then copy the names of each one of your policies, payment policy, shipping policy, and return policy. These will be unique to you and whatever you chose for the name here. So make sure they match exactly or else you'll have issues with your CSV. And then if you have an eBay store, you can fill out your store category IDs here, which just it, it decreases the amount of things you need to do manually. Then you can set up some templates. I have a PSA card template and then a regular Pokemon template. If I'm going to upload Japanese cards or something, I'll just go here and type Japanese, which will make that apply to every listing I create. Then after that, go over to list cards, select your template. I use Pokemon template, create a batch name. I do a SKU system, so this is going to be box 2, and then section 9, I do 100 cards per section, and 100 cards every time I upload a batch. Buy it now price, this is going to be your floor price. And then if you want to do a multiplier based on the TCG market price, you can do that. I like to price 30% above TCG market on eBay, so I'll put 1.3 here. And then this will select either your floor price for the pricing or the market price times your multiplier, whichever one is higher. So, and then front and back photos, I like to do that. Near mint or better. Select your game. We're uploading Pokemon English cards. Um, I don't think I have any trainers or anything, so I'll go ahead and just fill out Pokemon there. And they're all hollow cards, so I'll go ahead and put hollow. 
can do specialty if you want. And then just go over to your scans. Make sure they're all in the correct orientation first. Go rotate them if you need to. Have a good mix of different types of cards here so we will see how well they get identified. Just select all of them. You can drag and drop. After you've uploaded the cards, you can click Preview Images to make sure all the cards got added to the batch and are in the correct orientation. After that, you just submit. And then the AI will compare the images against the database to give you your matches. This can take a minute or two, but just be patient and make sure you don't click away from the page. Also, you want to make sure the images you upload don't have like a lot of stuff going on in the background. That's going to mess up the image recognition. I would suggest getting a scanner. That's going to be your best bet for having consistent photos that are going to find matches easily. All right, my batch has finished creating and we can go through and check whether the cards were detected correctly. And if you need to change it, you can click view here and then click on the correct one on the right. This is already correct, so I don't need to change it. Then you can see our pricing. This is the TCG player market price right here. And then this is going to be 30% above that due to how I set it up. So I can go through and change these if I want. I'll go ahead and leave them as is. It looks like it detected all of our Snorlaxes correctly, so that's nice. King Gambit's detected correctly, except for this one. But sometimes the prediction will show up right here and you can switch it easily. If it doesn't show up, you just go ahead and type it. And then go ahead and select the correct match, which is this one. And then it will change the title for you. Currently, it doesn't apply your title templates whenever you select a different prediction, but I think that's going to be changed soon. This looks like our Pekarons were selected correctly. Our Mimikyus are good. Our Pikachus are good. Except for, I think, one of these that detected incorrectly, but we can just switch it really quickly right here. Just go through and double check everything. It doesn't always hit 100% of the time, but that's okay. You can just go through and change these really easily, and it's still really fast compared to manually creating every single listing. So yeah, I'll go ahead and go through all of them and double check. But as you guys can see, it is pretty accurate with what I uploaded this time. I'm actually thoroughly impressed with these. AI matches. So I, I will go ahead and go through and double check everything and then I will get back with you guys. Actually, I just realized the Pekarons and Mimikyus were detecting the Pokemon Center version the first time, but I just went ahead and switched those over really quick. Again, not a problem at all. It's still super fast to select a different prediction. So after you've went through and double checked all of your cards in here, you can just go up here to download CSV, save, and then if you want, you can open this up and make any last minute changes you want, such as editing your titles or adding additional item specifics here. After you're done editing the CSV, you just go over to eBay, go to Reports, Uploads, and then Upload Template, choose File, select your batch export, and open it. And then you will wait until it's finished and then check the status here. If it, if it says failed on anything, you're going to want to go back to the CSV and edit it. But it just says completed, so that means we had no errors with our upload. So now I just go back to my listings and I just search by the SKU I just uploaded, which is B2-9, and then all of my listings will pop up. And then if I want, I can just bulk edit these and add my promotions or whatever else I need to do, change the item description, whatever. And then my listings are ready to go. Pretty fast, pretty easy, pretty simple. 
definitely worth checking out TCG Automate. I have a promo code for you guys in the description of this video, which will give you a discount on your subscription. So I highly recommend checking it out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.